How you doing, people? Today, uh, first of all, I just going to say thank you, all you guys, for, for, uh, said thanks to me and, and check some of my video. I can see uh, you guys was interested in a lot of area that spoke before in reference to uh, my home theaters and also my equipment they have around the house. And uh, was a lot of people did some positive comments on that one, and a lot of views came in, in this, this as well. So thank you very much for, for, for everything you guys did, and I hope uh, my information and uh, uh, helped to develop what you're looking for as far as home theater and a uh, home stereo system. Uh, today, I just gonna talk a little bit and give a little tour in about my equipment. I already spoke before and, and some of the challenge that is done, but I just gonna say some few things that uh, I think um, uh, I need to go to probably the next level as far as a home theater. As I mentioned before, the dimensions of my system is, actually more, more likely my room, is about 15.3 to 15.5, it's complete square. But with all the treatment it did and put the screen forward and stuff like that, it will give me about 15, 15 4 by 14, uh, 14 and a half. So I got about 14 and a half by 15 and a half uh, room. It's pretty much, that is what my room is. All right, and uh, my stereo consists of nine, nine, four, uh, eight. I should, nine, four, nine uh, woofers. And I show you in a way why I count nine, <coughs> excuse me, in the system. And uh, my equipment is, I uh, have some Moran processor, Moran receivers, and I have Moran's amplification, uh, eight channel, five channel. I got Emotiva three channel, Emotiva two channel. I got uh, uh, Chrome amplifier for the woofer, QSC amplifier for the woofers as well. Okay, and, and also I got Q, Q and C amplifiers as well. So pretty much I have much set up in my equipment. I got a DSP uh, connector for, for they can get uh, a, a split the signal of my uh, <clears throat> uh, woofers. But also I got some uh, BBE processor that control also the surround sound and the equipment, all right? Uh, that is what I have. So my combination is nine, four, nine. Nine, four, nine. I hope uh, I got it right. Uh, go ahead and we count it uh, after we get this tour, what we're talking about. And uh, my equipment is DTS. Uh, uh, that is what is the best sound in my system. All right, but I'm gonna talk a little bit about my front stage. I got some good B&W bookshelf uh, speakers, and uh, I believe the speaker is about uh, five, uh, I believe it's a four inches, so four inches uh, 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 mid base with the tweeter, and I'm gonna show you that one in a minute, okay? And also my front stage, as well and what i realize now is when now that I got all these surround speakers all these woofers and all my woofers is in a ceiling closer all right i'm running uh two fifteens four eighteens uh and three eights as a woofers all right my emo speakers are also eight inch uh uh uh, speakers and based what I was saying is 
Now they have all these speakers uh, and all these woofers. Seem like I'm um, from stage. It is some good, but it's not enough for I believe the equipment that I had. I think I had to get to bigger speakers to be able to accommodate all these speakers that we have around here and all these subwoofers. Uh, when the action's coming out and, 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 and airplanes coming through and all that, the front speaker is getting lower. And even I try to get higher, uh, it is good speakers, it is sound great, they are very, very expensive. I think uh, those speakers running about $2,000 or something like that a piece. Uh, they're real nice, but I think I need to have something bigger to be able to accommodate that kind of power that running the system. And that is very important because the front stage is the more important. And, and sometimes it looks lower and, and some, especially in some movie, some movies sometimes is lower and they put all these acoustic and all these sound loud and the voice lower. Uh, I, I know a lot of people have some better equipments that can give you better sound. I don't have at this point like, uh, 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 I forgot what it called. It's a device that they're using for signal, better picture, better movie and, and, and better sound. Uh, uh, I don't have those at this point. So, the only thing I can think about is if I go ahead and build or have a larger size of from stage speaker, it will help the equipment sound a lot better. And that is one of probably the next steps that I'm going to do. Uh, at this point, I'm going to show you the kind of speakers that I'm running and this system, and it's a BMW. This is very nice, clean sound speaker. Very nice, and you got a lot of very detailed uh, uh, speakers, all right? And with the equipment is setting and the TTS sound and the processors that we're using, uh, I believe I'm using three processors in here, plus, uh, 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 so that's pretty good. So let's go ahead, uh, for all that, let's go ahead and go around and go slow in some of the speakers. I already took the cover out and I want you to go ahead and stop uh, seeing what this one is. Let's go ahead and go around the screen, all right? Well, like I was mentioned before, this screen that we have right here, uh, this screen right here is a uh, little less than 150 inches, all right? Diagonal, uh, 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 diagonal uh, uh, screen. So what that means is that uh, it's a little bit shorter than what it is. And this is also an acoustic transparent uh, screen, it, which means I can put all my speakers right behind. The only speaker that I have at this point is the center channel, which is the center channel is about the same level of this speaker is as you can see that is the speaker okay uh this is one of the speaker is a very heavy speaker and sitting on the mount at this point and you can see how nice and this corn is with a nice tweeter is all right so i got three of those sitting in the from stage and it's real nice i don't know if that's on the sound quality, I don't know if I can get something better. It should be, but I know it's a lot of people that are here they're talking about GT, uh, what is it, J, JTR and things like that. I'm thinking, let's see what level I'm going to go and also about my budget. I was mentioning to you is, they also, this is another one down here. You can see that this uh, woofer and that a speaker is very nice complex and very nice design is very nice and very sound with a nice stand uh, that we have here all right also you can see this is my surround sound speakers and this surround speaker let's see if you can see right here i got six of this okay 
that is the one is right in front it's about approximately about four and a half five feet away from the front speaker that is what this one is all right and i have another one uh right on the another side if you can see i'm getting close to it i got another one right here all right and around there i have another one sitting about uh i would say eight feet apart and I have the another one, which is the back surrounds. Well, actually, the side surround, more likely. Let's see if I can get a, a good angle. I cannot see. Right here. All right. You can see how this nice speaker is. And this one right here is my back speaker. All right. Which I have one here and one, another one, another one, another side, sitting about 14, uh, 14 feet apart okay so pretty much is on the same level so actually my front stage are exactly on the same level with my rear speaker as well and the side speaker are sitting on the same level as well okay it's about approximately high is it's about three feet high is what i said those speakers are all right so what that means is it's very low so on the sitting area i can uh, it's right close to my ear all right so that's what we did on these speakers now we come into the another side i'm here and i have the another speaker right here which is that is also the back speakers all right let's see if i can you see me all right right there i got another one right here and this one is my back speaker right here as well Okay, so those are my nine speakers all over around, all right? Now, we have right here, we have a, a, a 18 inch woofer. I don't know if you can see it down here. Okay, let's see if I put it. I got 18 inch woofer right in this location with another dry, another way down here. And the reason I did that one is a space. I need to get, uh, if I try to get this speaker both together, it will put me a very high speaker and will take a lot of space. So I need to get it close and short, all right? And and these, uh, these particular uh, subs is sitting in about uh, seven cubic inch, okay? Inside those two dry. So it's about seven cubic inch uh, with a thousand watt amplifier. So they got its own amplifiers on the box, all right? And the same thing, we're gonna go to another one. We got the bar right here, and also we have the L L L LG uh, projector, all right? Which is this projector that you can see right here is very nice and quiet. You cannot even feel that it's there. I mean, it's so nice, quiet, and also it's a 4K. So this is it's a good projector. So I got another one, the another 18. The other 18 is the same, the same one on the other side. Let's go ahead and go down, down on the bottom. If you can see, I have this one also still on the ceiling closer with another in the side. And the same thing, it's about seven cubic inch uh, box. By having like this, and it's setting like I would say in double layer of NDF. All right, and also I use a call it Duro Tex or Duro Max uh, uh, material, which is that's the one how we paint this a particular woofer. By doing this one, is it's very solid and very nice. And also, if you can see down here on the bottom, that is my uh, 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 from stage, which I have uh, I have a little eight, a little eight on the side shooting opposite side i have a, a little eight i haven't take the cover out i don't know if you can see down here all right down here i have uh another a uh this uh, uh a is uh, called a par paradigm i believe a paradigm woofer and they are very very nice and also come with his amplification right on the back i like that one and this one right here uh, the one that we just uh, touching is uh, my 15 inch. This 15 inch uh, box is setting in about three cubic inch. Uh, the requirement is was nine is 
2.9, all right, 2.97. Uh, so I just did about three cubic inch on that one on the ceiling closer. And what I did right here is uh, those uh, those particular uh, woofers, which I have another 15 down here. This 15 down here, all right, is only a single one. It was the same on the other side. It's running with the QSC 2000 wattage. So I got 2000, it's a, maybe a little bit more than 2000 watt, but it's about 2000 watt. Uh, amplification that is what I'm using and I have also my chrome speaker uh, another chrome and that chrome that I have right here is setting with the uh, real subs those real subs that I have right here I make a little change based on the woofer that came originally on those wall uh, woofers uh, it was too low all right, I think they can handle like 200 wattage. So 200 watt is too low to be able to handle the 1500 watt amplification. So what I did is I modify, uh, let's go ahead and look at it. This, this particular uh, uh, woofer, what I did, I modified it to in chain and I use a JBL woofer and have 500 RMS. And I said, it's actually, uh, it's an eight inch woofer. All right. So if 500 RMS, that's pretty good. So what I did is I changed the woofers, all right, and modified the back to be able to accommodate with that big chrome 1500 wattage. So I put two of those and uh, side by what I did is I, I made two of those. And, and that is how I did those a particular eight inch woofers so now those woofers are very solid okay and i got the dsp uh, the, the dsp to be able to uh, level the uh the amount so that all the movement of the woofer work of the same on the same uh uh uh, uh amount all right so then you know, one louder and one lower so what i did is that will be modified so I did that too, okay? Uh, like I was mentioned before, my stereo. My stereo have one fan. Uh, sometimes you build a lot of heat in these, and, and, and after you watch two hours or more than two hours, you start building uh, the heat for the stereo, okay? Um, we already start planning to put another uh, uh, ice, uh, ampli uh, I'm sorry, another, uh, uh, refrigeration unit to be able to uh, get a little cooler here. So that right now it's pretty good. Even we have those big weather. I don't know your location, but over here we have like 108, 110. And, and, and after two hours or so, you can feel a little bit the heat. So we're going to put another uh, unit and we're going to put some ventilation so the air is coming out from the outside, uh, we're gonna put some ventilation on, on, on the back and, and swing all the way to the top so the air can go out and not stay in the room. So this is a project that we're gonna have in this home theater. And I hope you enjoy this. Uh, it's a lot of things that have to be done, but by learning and sound the, uh, what really I need to be able to go to the next level, I think is to modify my front stage. So uh, I think I'm gonna go to uh, three identical bigger speakers on front. Uh, I, I think I'm probably gonna go to about 15, 12 inches uh, uh, with horn, uh, bass, uh, uh, mid bass, horn. I think they will do it better on the front stage and that will help to accommodate the rest of it. I hope you enjoyed this video like I did, but as more you are listening, more you are using the equipment, you are learning more and what else to go. And that is the, 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 the beautiful part of this hobby. The, it's not about what, what somebody else has, it's more about what do you feel and what do you like it and how you enjoy it, all right? 
because a lot of things out there that is good, but they don't mean it's good for my ear. So for me, I'm very picky to be sure that the equipment that I have is good for my ear. Uh, yes, I'm listening for some equipment and other, and it's nice, but at the end of the at the end of the road, it's about <laughs> how you're listening and how you uh, feel by listening. And that is the key of this. All of it's good. All the woofers are very good, but it's every ear is different. And based that all the ears is different, I listen different than other people. So that's the reason is uh, as more I'm sitting in my home theater, more I'm learning that I have to get to the next level. All right. And pretty much this is what we have at this point. Okay. I'm thinking about putting some speakers right on the back and say they have four Emerson speakers. I think I'm going to add four more angle speakers, right? And I think that will be a completion of speakers around the system. Okay. And uh, I don't think so. I need anything else. My next step after that is change my recliners and have some nice recliner better than what i have this one is a little bit older it's still good all right but i want something more nicer and more comfortable than what i have at this point uh, uh i'm thinking to have some recliners that is a little bit wider uh because i like a space and i like more comfortably some recline they also have some movement on the back right here for your neck because after a while sometimes you're watching the movie and for a long time you start feeling a little pain on your neck so I like something that can give you better support on your neck. So this is something that I'm going to go for the next the next step on the home theater. But uh, guys, this is my uh, 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 my experience, and I'm sharing with all you guys. And I hope uh, uh, give it some feedback of what I do, because as me and other, we enjoy what we do, and we enjoy that. If anything that we can help to uh, uh, get better in the plans that you want on your home theater, uh, that is good because by by uh, uh, listening the uh, the problems and the issue that we have doing building and doing using it, it help others help others not to make the same mistake because sometimes. A mistake in this hobby, it will cost sometimes a lot of money, especially on the electricity and, and even in equipment. So a mistake, it will cost money. And that is what all this video is about. So we don't make a lot of mistakes because I did mistake during the time I built this home theater. And, and, and I'm correcting, but now I'm saying to others so they don't make the same mistake that what I did. Okay. So anyway, guys, no no more talking. I think I, I did enough on this video. I hope you like it, enjoy, and point uh, like it because that will help me to continue uh, 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 give information and uh, about the home theater and things that can be better for you as well. So thank you very much and have a nice day. Bye bye.